Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Taff and this is Taff's Word. Obviously I do my uh, weekly Newport County blogs um, in my bedroom and um, sometimes I touch on some pressing matters in football but today it's not a pressing matter in football, it's a pressing matter in Newport County which surrounds um, the supporters group that I'm currently uh, running. Um, I'm not sure if you actually know it, but I'm actually an elected um, leader. I don't like to call myself a chairman because I, I find it too formal a word. But technically, yes, I'm the chairman of the County Choir, who are now known as the Amber Army. Or, well, are going to be known as the Amber Army by the end of this season. Obviously, the rebranding, we wanted to start as soon as we could. We felt at the moment that we knew that we were safe from relegation. I th we thought that that was a good moment to uh, to start our rebrand and start announcing it. Um, um, I, I wanted to talk to you, to everybody about how we've come about our name change, what the logo that we've got, which has come under heavy criticism, what it means and why we've used that and what options there are for the future of the logo and um, what future lies for the name of the County Choir now. Obviously, we're formerly the County Choir, now the Amber Army. Um, it all started, um, one of the lads put up a post in the group because um, one, of, one of our younger lads goes on an ultras forum. Now, ultras is not something we're trying to associate, as, associate ourselves with. Ultras is something we're trying to emulate inside the ground without going down the pyrotechnic and hooligan kind of routes. We're trying to create an atmosphere. So something loud, intimidating, something enjoyable and exciting, you know, something that people are going to enjoy being part of, and people outside of Newport County are going to want to start looking at it and thinking, "Whoa, bloody hell!" You know that that looks good. I should go down there and see see that for myself. They come down, enjoy themselves, keep coming. You know, it's the two things that I, I think we've I've mentioned this on one of these blogs before. Um, the atmosphere and then the knock-on effect on the attendance but then most importantly the atmosphere to drive the players on to a better performance which I think um, played a, a big role in our promotion season the atmosphere generated um, obviously I'm not saying that the county choir are going to take um, credit for that but obviously as people often say as people obviously know um, we obviously do our utmost to generate an atmosphere and obviously we join in when other people generate it but going back to the name change um plenty of people have said that the county choir the name doesn't do us any justice um obviously being on the these ultras forums they they're telling us that that's a very weak name it's not a very marketable name and basically just taking the piss out of it like county choir who the fuck is that you know, sorry about the swearing, but that's pretty much what they're saying. What what the fuck does that even mean? You know, who are the county choir? You no, know, that 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 is a shit name. I mean, usually we don't care. You know, I mean, we, we've had it from our own fans. Oh, county choir, that's a crap name. You need to change your name, and we've not really cared. But when younger fans are saying, oh, you know, I'd like to come and stand by you, but I just don't like the name. I don't want to be associated with with that kind of name. Obviously, people have their own reasons for not liking it. I was always a fan of the County Choir name. Um, I believe in adopting something that um, is, well, how can you put it? Adopting something that you're tagged. You know, people collectively call you something, so you tend to adopt it, you know? Um, County Choir was something the message board started calling us a long, long time ago before we even thought about putting any sort of group together. I mean, the thought of process behind putting a group together came when um, someone approached me and said about making a CD with Goldie Look and Chain, which everybody was all on board with. And during that season, that was when we first went to Wembley. I think that's when the County Choir really pushed on. But the thing that's always held us back is that name. You know, people don't want to be associated with that. Um, people don't want to buy anything that's got that name on there, except for obviously the badges was different because people collect badges, people like badges. But the County Coy name is just something that was always going to hold us back. You know, we only are ever going to get so far with that name. 
the thought process behind the Amber Army is because we are away, even though one of the things we're taking criticism for with the name change itself, which is from a, a minimal amount of people, is the fact that county Newport County fans have always been labelled as the Amber Army. And while they've always been labelled the Amber Army, um, you know, they always feel as though they are a member of the Amber Army. So now we have come in and changed our name to the Amber Army, calling themselves part of the Amber Army automatically means they're part of our group, which they don't necessarily want to be. You know, that okay, that that's fair enough, right? But the whole point of the Amber Army is because we oh, we are aware of this. We are aware of the fact that the the fans of the club have always been tagged as the Amber Army. By calling ourselves the Amber Army, it means that we are trying to include everybody, if they wish to, to be a part of what we're trying to create. That atmosphere, that feel-good factor, you know, that that energy, you know, that everyone can feel oh, I, I, right it's a difficult way of putting it across um all we want is for people to be as enthusiastic about supporting the club as what we are you know vocally you know through volunteering um th th through any means you you may feel is right i mean oh we're leaving an open door for people to come and join our committee as well you know, obviously we can't have too many, we can't be overcrowded, but at the same time, we want people to feel that they can be involved in everything that we're doing. And that's the whole point of using the Amber Army name. Whether, you know, people feel as though we're not, our group isn't going to do the Amber Army name justice, I don't know. Um, the, the, the word hijacked has been used. Trust me, there's been no intention of us hijacking anything, you know. I mean, um, if, if, I, if I can offer a bit of a history lesson as far as the support and supporters groups are concerned with this club, the Amber Army was initially the name of the Supporters Trust before they became an official Supporters Trust, doing a very similar thing to what we're doing now. That's where Amber Army came from, basically. Um, that group of supporters that formed what was then going to become the supporters trust people have said that when they send their checks or donations they it's going to amber army because that's their original name you know they obviously sending it on there um obviously when they opened up any kind of accounts um it's still in the name of amber army it's like our accounts are going to still be in the name of county choir but our group is going to be known as the amber army um because we're doing a very similar type of thing as the original Amber Army are doing, um, I, I can't help but think that maybe, you know, we're worth entrusting, shall we say, in carrying that name forward and trying to do it justice, which I truly believe me and my group are going to do, you know. Um, all we want is the atmosphere that helped take us up to the football league to be uh, brought back you know um, we need to get the noise back because this season it was completely non-existent I know we didn't have a lot to sing about a lot to shout about but it makes a difference and we've heard it so many times from the manager from players David Pipe one of the things he said during the playoffs is you know, no, no offence to any other clubs but our fans were always so much more louder you know, and it always drives us on, you know, just in Edinburgh, you know, these fans and the atmosphere they create, it makes it so much easier for my players to play, I mean, these things, they don't just do that to blow smoke up our asses. they're saying these things because, you know, they're sincere in what they're saying, you know, what we do in that ground makes a big influence, you know, it makes a big difference on what they do on that pitch, so where people put the argument forward, you know, those players need to be doing things to make us want to sing for them. Well, why can't it be us fans, you know, can sing and shout and make a noise to drive those players on? I think it's a two-way thing. We can't just be reliant on the players to just, yeah, all right, and yeah, we have to be reliant on these players to go out and give 100% for us. But sometimes they need a 12th man to dig that extra bit. You know, obviously 100% isn't always good enough. You know, 
you know, we want to push them onto that 110, 120%, you know, push them onto doing things that they even they may not feel they were capable of doing. But as long as we're supporting them, you know, and not shading at them, I mean, Medially, though, right, he made a lot of mistakes this season, but we know he's a good player. The amount of stick he got, I mean, it's, it's, you know, I just looked around and I thought, come on, guys, are we being serious here? Are we really getting on our own players' backs? You know? I mean, at the end of the day, put yourself in their shoes. If someone's shading at you, are you really going to think, you know, I'll tell you what, they're shading at me and they're abusing me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give them, a, you know, that bit extra. <laughs> that that certainly wouldn't cross my mind. I'd be like, ah, oh, fuck off, you know. Me personally, if they're encouraging me, I mean, come on, Chris, come on, you know, dig in, you know, give us something, you know. That's going to make me more likely to want to give that bit extra. If someone's singing my name, you know, I, you know that's going to make the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. That there is is gonna give me a second wind, so to say. You know, I I just can't imagine what that feeling must feel like. You know, to be on a, on a football pitch, playing a game that you love, and having, you know, the fans of the team that you're playing for singing your name, cheering you on, or even just cheering on the club in general. You know, generating an atmosphere. I really can't imagine what that feels like. But all I know is that. I can't think of it being any, anything else other than something that's going to make me want to give that bit more. I mean, you know, the human potential. Humans can't really realise their potential, you know, until something really drives them on, whether it be fear, whether it be um, desire. I don't know, you know. But, I mean, I, I can go on all day about the atmosphere. I mean, I think I've rambled on about it now for about 12 minutes. <laughs> You know, um, just get behind what we're trying to do, guys, you know. Just really think about what I'm trying to say now and just try and get behind us. You know, come and stand with us. Everyone's welcome to come and stand with us. Give us suggestions, you know, cringy chants. I mean, tell us what's cringy. Don't just come to us, oh, you know, I'm, I'm not bothering your group because oh, you only ever sing embarrassing cringy chants. All right. What are embarrassing? What chants are embarrassing? What chants are cringy? What is the problem? Why won't you come and stand with us? Why won't you join in with us? Tell us, you know, we're open people. We're open to criticism. You know, we're open to constructive criticism. When it's un when it's not constructive and it's unjust, that's when we'll get a bit defensive, you know, and start questioning other people. But... All we want is for people to tell us where we're going wrong if we're going wrong. And then if we're not going wrong, just get on board with us, you know. Amber Army, we're all in it together. That's the whole point. The logo, right, is a Spartan soldier. Now, if any of you have seen the film 300, it was based on a true story. I mean, most of you will probably know that anyway. Based on the fact that um, during um, an invasion from Persia throughout all the, all the Greek states... Um, the Spartan army, just 300 of them managed to hold off a million Persian forces, you know, the forces as much of a million. I mean, you know, what better example of strength in unity, which is one of the things we're trying to encourage, strength in unity, together stronger, you know, it's something that has pulled Wales, the national team, over the line to qualify for the first major tournament since the 50s. You know, why can't Newport County use that to progress? You know, I I just really hope that people can get what I'm trying to say, what we're all as a group are trying to do. And hopefully next season will be a completely different season and everybody's pulling pulling their weight in the same direction. You know, so I've rambled on for a good quarter of an hour, this quarter of an hour that you're not you know, you guys are never gonna get back again. So if it's worth anything, it's worth getting on board with the new Amber Army. Well, I hope I hope that clears a lot of things up, and I hope you guys will support us now. So, for those of you who already have sent your messages of support, thanks very much. And for those of you who are on the fence with us, I hope that this has swayed you to our side. And for those of you on the other side of the fence, well, I hope it's made you rethink 
because at the end of the day all we want is for our club to do better and progress and uh, as long as you all you know help us with what we're doing hopefully we together we can help our club all right and thanks a lot then guys and uh, i'll see you all saturday at wimbledon cheers up the county